Welcome to Silk. Silk is a simple but powerful tool for organizing anything that matters to you into beautiful collections of online information and web pages. Today I'm going to show you how to use Silk to build an online portfolio to highlight your artwork. This will only take a few minutes and best of all, it's free. We're going to be using the works of John Wong, who's an up and coming San Francisco artist. Thank you, John. To get started, click on the big orange button and create your first silk. We're going to name our silk John Wong Portfolio Site or John Wong Art Site Live and type in my name and email address. and a password. Make it secure. I'm not going to make my site private, so I, anyone will be able to see it. Now create. So the silk has been created, now we have to add a collection. A collection is like a folder. It holds related pages together. So the most basic element of what we're um, putting into this silk will be artworks. So let's name our collection artworks. Next we're going to name a page, and we want to name a page for something that uh, is related to what we're going to build. So in this case, one of the first images is, it says Minute Hands, Our Hands. So let's call our page Minute Hands. Enter that, click Add. Now our first page has been built. Now I'm going to edit the page. I'm going to click on the orange line there. And the first thing I want to do is actually add an image to the page. So I'm going to click on the image, drag it until we move into the tab, and then drop it right into the photo box. I can then resize the image with the pluses and minus buttons, add vertical heft to it, or if I feel like this box is entirely too small, I can just grab the image with the grab bar and move it, to, move it over to the opposite column, which is twice as wide. You can also drop a photo into any photo box on the site, and you create photo boxes by cl clicking on the plus handle. The plus handle is what allows you to add any type of content to your silk, including text, images, video, audio, embedded media, files, or even Twitter streams. You can also use the, the plus handle to build visualizations such as tables, lists, grids, groups, maps, pie charts, column charts, and line charts. I'm going to go ahead and save this page quickly, and now let's go ahead and populate the fact sheet. So at the top of the site, this is what we call the fact sheet. I'm going to drag it over so we have a little more symmetry. And the fact sheet is the information that uh, we use about the page. So for example, on the left side of the fact sheet are something we call tags. This is like categories. On the right side are facts. Um, the facts are clickable, and when you click on a fact, it will take you to uh, other pages that um, have the same attribute. So let's go ahead and actually rather than click that, we're going to add our first fact. And since this is artwork, we're going to say color. So we'll say blue. And let's say um, medium. And this is digital. Okay. And then let's say um, year. And let's say 2013. Okay. So now I'm going to save this page. And this is actually a live web page. And this is what the page looks like. Um, so I'm going to then go and create a second page. I'll just click the new button and I can add a title now or later, depends. Let's go ahead and go back to the artwork first and let me pick another image. So this is an interesting image of a little soldier. I'm going to click on the soldier page and then grab the image. The reason I'm not clicking on the thumbnails is because I actually want the image off the page because it's a live image. Um, here I dropped it into the box. Uh, I got lazy so I'll actually put it right over here. Um, and let's move the fact sheet up so that we have that nice symmetry. Right, right there. Okay, and I'm going to insert a title. So we'll say Soldier Boy. Move that up to where it was before. And if you look over in the fact sheet, you'll also notice that Silk is already suggesting which, uh, which, um, which tags you should use. It does that because it recognizes those tags from other pages you've created. So we're going to say color is green, digital, uh, medium is digital, and year is 2014. Let's go ahead and save this page. And let's add one more page quickly. I'm going to do that one actually from the dashboard. So here you see add more pages. And let's go back and find something a little different, maybe an illustration. Um, so 
as Tumblr loads below the fold, there, there's an illustration that I like. This is looks like, oh, it's about Boba Fett. So let me click on Boba Fett, drag it up. Oh, actually, I'm not gonna be doing that with this. So first I have to name the image as Boba Fett or name the page as Boba Fett. And now we have our Boba Fett page. So now I can drag the image in. And I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Drag it right into the photo box. Again, like last time, let's go ahead and drag that image right over so that it's in the double column. Here I have to shrink it down a little bit to make it fit. And maybe vertically resize a little bit. Okay, there we go. Let's move our fact sheet up. And that's our third page. So you saw we built three pages very, very quickly. It doesn't take long at all. Um, yellow. Medium is ink and year is 2012. So I'm gonna save that page. So yeah, we have three pages that we've built. Now I'm going to go to the home page. You do that by clicking in the link in the upper left corner that the site, basically the site name in the upper left corner. So the default view of the home page is the title with a grid underneath and a little bit of information on the left side. All of this you can change pretty easily except for the title. So first I'm gonna click edit the home page and any of the plus signs is where I can add the edit elements. I'm gonna get rid of the double side image because or the double wide image there because I don't really want it. Um, and I'm going to add a visualization. So I do want a nice grid visualization. And let's add the images in because the images make it look much nicer and we can pick a little description. So color and then say we wanted to add an additional description item, we can pick medium and we'll click done. Now, when you go back to the home page, you'll notice that this grid visualization is now dropped in right below the title. So you can drop any visualization uh, anywhere on the site uh, using that capability. I do want to get rid of this grid down here because this is a little uh, redundant. So I can either click on it and get rid of it entirely, or I can edit this widget by clicking the edit button and change the view. Here we have grid. I'm going to change it to table. Okay. And get rid of the image tag because I don't want the images there because they're very big. And then I can add other information. And now this table down below is what will be displayed where that widget is. So you can see back on the home page, the widget is now showing the table. At the very bottom of the page, there's always the Explore Your Collection button. And in general, one theme you'll see throughout Silk is Explore. Um, so if we save the page, an Explore button appears up here, and that will allow you to go into Explore Mode. Explore Mode is where you can see all of the pages. You can build visualizations with the pages, table, list, grid, groups. So let's say we build a group visualization. This is by letter, B, M, or S, uh, by first letter. Um, we could also group it by color, and so now you see by that, by color. And you can also um, use the explore bar at the top to look at the different artworks pages and build pages and, and, and see how they're put together as well. You can copy these visualizations into your clipboard, and then if you went back to the dashboard or went back to the home page and you wanted to edit and drop in that visualization, then you just go to your clipboard and there it is. Now I'm actually gonna get rid of that, I don't want that. Um, one last thing that we didn't talk about much is text blocks and embedded media. So text blocks are very easy to edit. If you see one that's already there on the site, you can edit anything in it with simple clicking on it and then typing. Um, if you wanted to embed um, media such as Twitter, then you click on the Twitter logo there, and John um, John uh, Wong's Twitter handle is Plastic Yuppies, so we just type at Plastic Yuppies, and Silk will automatically rec recognize that and pull in his Twitter stream. Um, if I don't want this image down here, I can just click on that and get rid of it. Um, and if I wanted to also share any of the widgets themselves, when you click on the share button, I'll save the page quickly, then that will allow you or anybody else to share the widget via an embed, meaning an iframe uh, that can be easily embedded into uh, many other types of blogs or via these other mediums, including Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and email, 
Or if anyone on the outside who isn't logged into the site wanted to explore the pages, they can just click on Explore and build their own visualizations as well. So this gives you a pretty good idea of how to build a digital portfolio with Silk. Uh, it took us only a few minutes to do this, and you can see how flexible the platform is. We love artists and hope that many of them will use Silk. You can contact us at support at silk.co. Uh, you can hit us up on Twitter at silk.co. And if you want a lot more ideas of how to do interesting things with Silk, you can go to gallery.silk.co or just silk.co and look at the gallery on the homepage. And you'll end up with something beautiful like this. Thank you for reading, and we really appreciate your time.